Round house to your house, Columbus Day could be a thing of the past right here in New Mexico. Our guy Porter is live in Santa Fe to explain why some state lawmakers are sponsoring a bill to rename this holiday. Kai. Steve, House Bill 100 would rename Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day, and today it passed its first hurdle here at the Roundhouse. Is there opposition? State representatives on the House Consumer and Public Affairs Committee passed House Bill 100 unanimously Tuesday afternoon. State Representative Derek Linte, who represents Rio Arriba, Sandoval, and San Juan counties, is one of the bill's sponsors. We're seeking to eliminate Columbus Day and rather make it into uh, Indigenous Peoples Day in the state of New Mexico. In New Mexico, the cities of Santa Fe, Albuquerque, and Gallup already celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day. But Linte's bill would rename Columbus Day, which falls on the second Monday in October, statewide. We asked Linte, who's a member of Sandia Pueblo, why he supports the change. What we want to do is be able to have people understand the truth behind the holiday and why it was created and provide evidence that, in fact, it's more oppressive than it is a celebratory event. While the bill passed the committee unanimously, Republican State Representative Candy Spencer-Zell wasn't in her seat for the vote. After saying she feels we can't keep changing our past history because we won't learn anything from it. I question why no one has thought of doing this on a statewide level in New Mexico, given the, the fact that we have 23 nations, tribes, and pueblos. And the bill now heads to its second and final committee in the House. Live in Santa Fe, Kai Porter, KOB, Eyewitness News 4.